Number 36. Find the polynomial for the shaded area of the figure. Now we want to find the shaded area of the figure, that part in black up there. Okay, the four corners. All right. To do that, what we need to do is find the area of the square and then subtract out the circle. Cut out the circle. So let's see. We find the area of the figures, the area of the square, this whole square here. And then we, we take our scissors and cut out the circle here. We're subtracting the area of the circle from it. All right? Now, to find the area of the square, we need to go find out how long one of these sides is. Well, if this is r and this is r, then all the way across this is going to be 2r. And the area of a square is going to be 2r times 2r. Is the length of the times the width is 2r times 2r is 4rr or 4r squared. You have an r times an r, we write as r squared. So the area of this is 2r, which is this length, and 2r this width. Multiplying those, I get 4r squared. Now, of course, the formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared. Pi r squared. That's a formula that you should memorize. And if I subtract these two, I take 4r squared minus pi r squared. I'm subtracting the area of the square minus the area of the circle. For this, I write 4r squared and minus the pi r squared. Now, this is a polynomial here we were talking about. Find a polynomial. Now, if I factor an r squared out of this, I'll eliminate the r squared here and the r squared here. I can write it out front or behind it or wherever, but when you take the r squared out of here, you're left with a 4 here and a minus pi here. So this is the formula for the, uh, for the uh, shaded area of the figure.